Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. In my hands is Scout's Honor number three from Aftershock Comics. It's written by David Pepos. Luca Casaleguida is the artist. Matt Miller is the art uh, colorist. Carlos M. Manguel is the letter. Uh, so this series is a post-apocalyptic series. Uh, the society's cr uh, collapsed, and a group of people have kind of brought things together based off of the teachings of kind of a version of the Boy Scouts. Uh, the main character, Kit, is has a secret. Not, not a guy. She is a girl, and she's hiding. Uh, she wants to be a... a Ranger Scout and Eagle Guard, their highest level. Of course, women aren't supposed to be that, so she's been hiding as a boy and uh, covering her uh, gender. And then she's also discovered these teachings and history about the uh, Ranger Scouts it might be a lie, that things aren't what they seem. So um, this issue has her competing to be part of the Eagle Guard, uh, going through the trials and tribulations as she competes against her best friend, Dez, who has a secret of his own. Um, it's, it's a really solid issue. You know, there's a lot of drama to it. You can, you feel the tension. You kind of feel the actual heartbreak of, of what Kit is going through a little bit. You definitely ex understand what Dez is going through having uh, to compete against Kit. And you get to really, like, learn a lot more about Kit. Like, she... She shows off her character throughout the issue as she's put, um, you know, more through more and more of the trials. And I think what's re really great is that as she's put through those trials, like you, you really come to the conclusion like she deserves to be an Eagle Guard. Like this is exactly what the Eagle Guard is supposed to be, um, and she embodies all of that, like in the purest form in every single way. Um, and I think it's it's really interesting that way, like. You you come out rooting for her even more. Like this is the point where you're just like, you know, this this really runs deep. This isn't a this isn't just a front. This person's putting on. This isn't just a goal. This person really is putting on. Like this person really has some solid morals and a good grounding and kind of good head on their shoulders. And I want to see them succeed. To me, that's what this issue is. Is like you come out of it really rooting for Kit and wanting her to, you know, become and to basically, at this point, I want her to take over and just start leading the society in a good direction. Um, they can still keep on doing what they're doing, but I think she'll just, like, really deliver it in a real way without the bullshit that she's discovered. Um, you know, there's twists and turns throughout. Of course there's twists and turns. Uh, we got murder hornets, so, like, you, you gotta love that. Uh, and just overall, like, it's a solid story, really good art, and overall, the series is, I think, fantastic. It's just an issue building upon issue, uh, really kind of building the world and delivering, uh, you know, just delivering just a fleshed out world and characters and you really get a sense of who everyone is. This isn't, you know, this could easily just be an apocalyptic story and some archetypes and like, that's not what, what Popos is delivering. Um, the art too tells you lots of stories about what's going on in the world and, and what has happened. And you can see through the, the remains and the, um, uh, the, the like stuff thrown about, like what, yeah, it gives, gives you a better idea as to like what's going on and what has happened. So loving the series as a whole, like it's just a really solid read. You know, it, each issue is great. I have a feeling this one's going to be even better read uh, in one go as like part of a trade. So if you kind of like, if you like the apocalyptic story and you want a little bit more depth and more than like one group versus another group, totally get this. This is like absolutely what you're looking for. Out now at comic shops, you can go get it this week. We got a link beneath this video, put in your zip code of Telfa shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage of that, but doing that, you help support our site, so thank you. Uh, and speaking of support, I want to thank Aftershock for hooking us up with the review copy, and thank you for watching. Uh, if you're into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, all at Graphic Policy. Until next time, keep reading those comics, and keep a geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link 
on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.